Thank you. It is so great to be here. I've got to thank Rita for having the party. And Gail, thank you. Gail and I have been friends for so long. It's really, We've been really... three of the five decades. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> to be precise. <laughs> you know, when I started to write the book, I knew people don't remember, even if they remember what it was like, you know, you just, you just lock it out, sort of. And when I was writing the part about... The beginning of the book is really a woman named Lois Rabinowitz who got kicked out of uh, traffic court in 1960 for trying to pay a ticket while wearing slacks. And, uh, <laughs> while I was writing that, I suddenly remembered that when I was in college, we were not allowed to leave the dorm while wearing slacks unless we were going bowling. <laughs> and the way we signed out, you would have really thought all of Milwaukee was one big alley out there. <laughs> Uh, I usually, when I, when I talk about the book, I can, you know, get people very wound up just by talking about things that all of you know so well that there is no way in the world I'm going to tell you what things were like and what happened then because so many of you made it happen then and have been through every bit of it since then. But um, one thing that always happens when I'm out with this book is that somebody in the audience will get up and ask a question that's basically an invitation to me to tell my sufferings that I have gone through on the way forward. Um, and it's very embarrassing because I had no sufferings on the way forward. And it's, but it's always a pleasure to... Um, I did one time, i got to tell you, my one only thing I ever did, when I was in Hartford, I did open up the mail, we only had mail bathrooms there, and, and the top floors where I was working at the press room, and I did turn the bathroom into a unisex bathroom. <laughs> and um, the legislators, who were all guys, uh, were very upset and put a big sign saying men only. Then I found out that there was an anti-handicap discrimination law that said there had to be a bathroom for handicapped women on every floor. So I pointed out that there had to be a bathroom for handicapped women on this floor. <laughs> and so the next day there was a big sign up saying, this bathroom is only for men and handicapped women. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't teach me much about the women's movement, but it taught me a lot about politics. <laughs> But when people do ask me that question and ask me about, you know, all my great sufferings, I always am thrilled to tell them that I didn't have enormous roadblocks in my way because women who came one second before me fought those fights and opened the window that we got to sail through. And that women who came one second before me, who stood up and made the fight, never got the rewards they came to us. And the thing that just knocks me out whenever I get to talk about these things is that those women that I know, those heroic women who just stood up and said no, the ones that I know were never bitter. They were so excited about the things that were happening. And they were such champions of the younger women who were coming up. And whenever, as frequently happens, I wind up in an audience in which there's some woman who really is aggrieved and wants to tell everybody about it for quite a long time. <laughs> it's always just a pleasure to me to be able to say, and you're absolutely right, I know people have gone through, but the thing that just fills my heart is to see that the women who fought these fights are so happy at the progress that other women made. And to me, that's so woman, you know? <laughs> and if you don't mind, since she is here tonight, Betsy Wade, who is yes. not oh. and Grace and Betsy are two of the great New York Times heroines. And, um... And every time I get to talk about the book, I basically get to talk about them. And I know that many of you here fought like that and did those things. But the book is for, for Betsy and Grace and for all the other heroines who did those things. And um, I'm so pleased to be able to be here tonight and to finally have you here rather than speaking in general about it this when I go out. So this is my happiest moment of the book tour. <laughs> I actually get to give credit to someone else. And I want to thank you all for being here tonight. It's been so great to meet so many of you again and, and to get to know so many new people. And again, thanks so much to Gail and thanks to Rita and thanks to Grace. And thanks to Betsy. Thank you. Thank you.